Hello grade 10s and welcome to this topic particle substances are made of. It was Marilyn Monroe who, in 1953, sang the song, Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Since then, this has become a very popular phrase. Diamonds are majestically beautiful stones that are always increasing in value. Diamonds are one substance whose atoms make up a lattice. This lattice of atoms contributes to many of diamonds' properties, such as its brilliant shine. Diamond is also the strongest substance on Earth. The only thing that can cut a diamond is another diamond. We will study a number of different lattice structures in this series. We will also learn how their structure contributes to their properties. Before we get onto different lattice structures, let us first revise how substances combine. In the topic, the atom, you learned about the atom and the types of chemical bonds. An atom is the smallest particle of which all substances are made. But very few substances are found as single atoms because so many atoms have unpaired electrons in unfilled orbitals that need to be filled. In fact, it is only the noble gases in group 18 of the periodic table that can be found as individual atoms at room temperature. This is because they are very chemically stable and do not have any unpaired electrons. Here we see a number of helium atoms occurring on their own. Many atoms combine together during the process of chemical bonding to form compounds. A compound is a substance of two or more atoms attracted to each other by relatively strong forces or bonds. This diagram shows a compound that is made up of three atoms. In the topic chemical bonding, you learned that the term compound can refer to any substance that is covalently or ionically bonded. But covalent and ionic bonds form compounds that look very different. So we will also look at the shape and structure of these compounds, as well as their properties in more detail in this series. Let's carry out an experiment that will help us distinguish between elements and compounds. We have already revised the fact that a compound is a group of two or more atoms attracted to each other by relatively strong forces or bonds. We also know that an element is a substance that cannot be broken down further by chemical means. In this experiment, we will decompose the compound water into its elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Let us go to the lab. We will perform an experiment to help us distinguish between elements and compounds. In this experiment, we will decompose the compound water into its elements, hydrogen and oxygen. We will take a beaker and fill it with clean, clear water. We will add some sodium sulfate to the water. Sodium sulfate is simply added to the water to increase the conductivity of the water. The sodium sulfate does not take part in the reaction at all. Now we will fill two measuring cylinders with water and invert them into the beaker. We will now place graphite rods into the cylinders and connect them to a 4.5 volt battery supply. Now let us wait a while and then observe. We can see that the cylinders are being filled with gas. The cylinders may contain two different gases as there is a positively charged electrode in the one cylinder and a negatively charged electrode in the other cylinder. Here is the equation for the reaction that occurs inside the beaker. According to the balanced equation, the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in the product is 2 is to 1. It makes sense then that twice as much hydrogen will be produced as oxygen. Why? So the cylinder with the most gas in it must contain hydrogen and the other cylinder must contain oxygen. If we have a look at the balanced equation again, we can see that the reactant is water. Water is a compound as it is made up of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The products of this reaction are hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen are elements as they cannot be broken down further into any simpler compounds and are made up of atoms of the same element. That was very interesting. So, let us recap what we have studied today. A compound is a group of two or more atoms that are attracted to each other by relatively strong forces or bonds. 
An element is a substance that cannot be broken down further by chemical means. Well, grade 10s, that is all for today. Join me in the next lesson where we will study metallic compounds. Until then, goodbye.